are some amazing Instagram stories, GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. There are also some doozies. In this video, I'm sharing only the best to make your brand pop. Today I'm in Medellin, Colombia, and the idea for this video came from a series that I've done here on YouTube, diving into deeper strategy on some of the Instagram stories stickers. So questions, polls, quizzes, and now we're talking gifts. I'm gonna grab my phone, it's gonna be easier, so we can walk through the best gifts available to you. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, this is what I've learned from years on Instagram, creating stories consistently and using GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. I've learned that these are deep, hidden deep in stories sticker, okay? Which is pulling from Jiffy. I'm gonna highlight some of my favorites that you might consider using for your brand. Now, some GIFs or GIFs are really ugly and I try to avoid using those to still stay on brand. So let's start with a handful that are attractive. My first tip for you, and I'm gonna kind of group my favorite collections into three categories, simple, illustrated, and more. And the first thing I have learned is that rather than searching by keyword, you might want to find a collection of stickers that you really like or feel are on brand. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. These are going to be collections created by artists or creators. And hopefully if you find some you like, you remember to look them up. Instagram has no way to save your favorite collections. So you just have to trust me. You might want to write them down in your iPhone notes or your, you know, somewhere handy so that you can refer back to them. But here are more than 10 collections I'm going to share with you that I think might be awesome for your brand. So let's start with the first category, which I'm calling simple. The first creator is called Liz Mosley. Okay, now this collection I love, very simple, mostly white, a lot of text here, but a really clean handwritten design that might be kind of fun to add to your stories that might already have lots of bright colors. And the next one, not a collection, but more of a descriptor word, lines. Just by typing this term lines, you're gonna find some here that are gonna be useful if you just wanna add a little something to your story or to highlight something in your post. For example, let's say I was gonna talk about this yummy pina colada I had over the weekend. I could do some fun highlighting of that. My final collection under this category, simple, is gonna be called boho white. Boho is a style and by adding white, it shows me mostly white stickers. Now I definitely tend to use stickers that are white. That way if my post, which typically has lots of color, it enables both of them to coexist very well together. So this is combining boho and white styles. Next, let's talk about illustrated. And now I have a fair number of uh, illustrated collections that I want to share with you. The first one is a popular one. I've seen other creators talk about this one and I love this one. It's cherry, but instead of an E, it's an X. And there are lots of really cute, small, great little stickers that you can incorporate for your stories. I also love Meryl's Corner, one word, Meryl's Corner. I love that these are kind of more muted tones, almost like fall colors. So there's some great colors in here. Let's say your brand isn't super bright. Maybe you spot a few of your brand colors in here. I certainly do. That green shade is totally on brand for me. I love these styles. The next one is Prasa Decora. Moving quickly through these so you can see if any of these styles match your visual brand. These are bright, lots of pinks, tend to be more of like a girly style, but these are, you know, really kind of nice. Moving right along, I want to show you one that I use often. It's called Gladys. These are definitely fall colors, so lots of yellows, mustard, oranges, soft tones. I love this one, My Morning, or any of these banners are really, really nice. So again, maybe some of these you'll spot are useful and on brand for you. Moving right along, we used this keyword earlier, but now without the term white, just boho. Have a look here. These are really beautiful. Even this simple heart might be useful if you're describing something relevant. I love these right here. You know, if you wanted to describe or even put Instagram text, you could actually use that as the background, just like that style. So quick example, okay? So this boho style gives you some really visually pleasing, very aesthetic uh, type GIFs. 
This next one is hard to pronounce, but I'm gonna do my best. Anchitulil. Okay, maybe that's another language. But these really bright contrast type illustrations, a totally different style than what we've been looking at. I love this swipe up. I use that often when I'm looking at my podcast. Even this little indicator, this arrow, this down at the bottom, you can see animated. So there are some fun ones here. Totally different style than what we've explored, but that's one of the reasons I wanted to share it. A popular one that I actually mentioned in my Instagram course is called V Papier. This definitely kind of a girly, uh, artistic, creative style to it, but I love some of these darker tones. Really, really trendy and beautiful. So see, maybe this matches or feels on brand for you. Two more in what I'm calling the illustrated category. This one is by an artist named Haley Iverse. Really, again, quite beautiful, jiffy stickers that might look great in what you're creating on Instagram stories. See, not every jiffy gif has to be ugly or pixelated. There are some really beautiful ones out there. I have one more that I wanna share with you in this illustrated category. Let me open gifs again, there we go. This one is called Lydia on the Road, all one word, okay? Must be the username of the creator. I love these, these are so, so fun. Lots of positive little comments here. They might accurately describe what you're showing in the photo. And on this topic, so I love this creator, Lydia on the Road, we're gonna move more to actually what my final category is called more. So along the lines here, kind comments is a really good descriptor. This isn't one particular collection, but this is describing exactly what we've typed, kind comments, okay? If you're trying to keep your Instagram stories positive, you'll get lots of ideas with this keyword. The last one I wanna share with you, and I know I've moved quickly, but you can rewatch any of these sections or maybe watch through again to see if there's any styles that you like, is called frames. These are super, super handy, designed really to frame whatever picture is inside. So this is, you know, a bit of a vacation moment here. I might wanna highlight my face or I might wanna highlight the very yummy drink that I had in my hand. It was very delicious. Okay, so those are some styles. I went through over 10 different collections and keywords to find some really nice GIFs on Instagram. There you have it, some new Instagram story GIF ideas for you to use. If you've got any lingering questions on this topic, comment below, or if you have any other GIF sets that you love, which others should check out, put them down there. Let's keep the conversation going and I respond to those personally. You can also drop your Instagram handle down there so others can connect with you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. This helps other people discover this video and others, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm linking through a few videos I think you'll find helpful, Instagram related, of course. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Those videos are coming up next.